Hey friends, thanks for joining me today. I just got done filming the uh, Boulder Dam mascot. The dog's buried over a Hoover Dam not too far from here. So I thought I'd stop by on the way home at the Southern Nevada Veterans Cemetery. There's a couple of uh, child actors in here and I think we'll have time to visit some others while we're here. So away we go. In 1960, Herbert is so popular that he actually gets top billing in the film 13 Ghosts. Uh, this is when he was age 12. Later in his career, he appears on Wagon Train, Rawhide. You can also catch him on reruns in Family Affair and My Three Sons. I've seen him a few times. Even after making 20 movies and 50 TV shows, the only money that was left to his name when he turned 21 was $1,700, sadly. His guardians blew it all. Wow. How's it like to work your entire childhood making money for others? Then when it's time for you to uh, get some revenue, there's hardly anything left. That, that's pretty sad. Then out this direction, you probably, you may not recognize the name Maggie Peterson, but when we get there, I'll tell you more about her. 
Maggie Peterson. She's buried right here with her husband. Uh, cremated. They haven't changed the headstone yet. Maggie first read for the role of Ellie Walker, Andy's girlfriend, in the Anna Griffith show. But the role went to Eleanor Donahue. She played the part of Charlene Darlin, the only daughter of Briscoe Darlin. You might remember in the show, she had a big crush on Sheriff Taylor. Her signature line was, Aw, oh, Paul, can I even look at the pretty man? This may surprise you, but the Darlins were only in six Andy Griffith episodes. Now we'll head out this direction. There's another great visit we'll do with a, an actress from the 1935, mid 30s until the 1950s. So let's get going. Now we're at the grave of Pamela Canavan. I think that's how you say it. Her stage name is Pamela Blake. As a young lady, she wins a beauty contest. Her friends said, go to Hollywood. She does and does pretty well. She had roles with such leading men as John Wayne in Wyoming, Wyoming Outlaw. This came out in 1939. And Alan Ladd in This Gun for Hire, a 1942 movie. She also appears in the movie The Utah Trail, along with Tex Ritter. I've saved the seat for you. Say, you, you look kind of pretty. me where I'm going so early in the dawn I'm just a traveler roving just a roaming on I've looked this old world over many times have searched in vain for a spot that seems like heaven to me And I long to be again Did you know Tex Ritter was John Ritter's father? You know, I got to thinking, I've just about hit every famous grave in Las Vegas. I'm going to have to hit the road to find some others, such as California. I do have a business trip planned with my daughter in June back to St. Louis, so I'll, pro I'll probably find some uh, famous graves in that area. While, that, while I'm there, I think I'll try to go up the St. Louis Arch, but I'm definitely afraid of heights. <laughs> hey, thanks for clicking on this video. I know there's a bunch of them out there. It's fun doing these, and I hope you enjoy them. Everybody needs to be remembered. Did you know that Charles Manson was married a few times? We're at the grave of his first wife, Rosalie Jean Hanley. Her maiden name was Rosalie Jean Willis. She's introduced to Manson by her father. She's only 15 years old when they get married. She was a waitress at a hospital. Rosalie's father takes Charlie in to meet her because he thought Charles Manson was a fine young man. 